is BBC World News with me, Lucy Hawkins. Our top stories. Ukraine says it's fortifying its hold over the 8,000 square kilometers of land recaptured from Russian forces. As Ukrainian forces push Russian troops back, claims emerge of torture and abuse in captured towns. We've spoken to a woman, a local school principal, who was kept here for three days. She said she heard screaming coming from other rooms. A show of solidarity for Ukraine at the EU State of the Union speech. Commission President Ursula von der Leyen promises no end to sanctions on Moscow and outlines plans to cope with any economic retaliation. And with the necessary courage and with the necessary solidarity, Putin will fail and Ukraine and Europe will prevail. The coffin bearing Queen Elizabeth is returned to London as preparations are made for her to lie in state. It will now be taken from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall. King Charles will lead the procession as he honours his mother. And these are the live pictures we have right now. You can see the crowds gathering there for a chance to see the former monarch lying in state in Westminster Hall. We'll be talking to them, asking them why they're paying their respects to the Queen and why it means so much to them. A huge security operation is underway in London, of course, ahead of the arrival of hundreds of world leaders for Monday's state funeral. Hello, welcome to the programme. We begin with developments in Ukraine. Accounts are emerging of brutality and murders carried out by Russian troops in areas just liberated by Ukrainian forces. President Zelensky is saying 8,000 square kilometres have now been liberated in Ukraine's northeastern offensive. Half of that, he says, has been stabilised. You can see here the purple area. This shows the substantial gains that Ukraine has made just in the last week. In one city, Balaklia, the Russians are said to have used the police station as a torture and interrogation centre. Well, let's bring you more now with our correspondent, Ola Guerin. She is there for us in the city of Balaklia, which has just been liberated liberated by Ukraine. Well, we are now in territory that was recently freed by Ukraine.